एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर नंबर टू इन नंबर वर्क प्रॉब्लम सेट नंबर सिक्स इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द स्मॉलर एंड द बिगर नंबर ओके एंड वी हैव टू स्टडी हाउ टू राइट द सिंबल यूज दीज सिंबल्स इन ऑर्डर टू रिप्रेजेंट द स्मॉलर एंड द बिगर नंबर सो इट्स वेरी इजी एज वी डिड फॉर ऑल द क्वेश्चन इन द सेम वे यू ऑल हैव टू डू इट यूनिट टेन्स हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड ओके फर्स्ट यू ऑल हैव टू काउंट How many digits are there? So unit tens, hundred, thousand. Now you will see over here we are having ten thousand. So obviously, which number is going to be greater? This number is going to be greater. Got it, children? So in this way, this is the first step. You all have to find it. Now next, you will see that both the numbers are in lakhs. Okay, so orally also, or you all can find it by writing these units about these. numbers also okay write the units about these numbers you will find these this is 22 lakh and this is 12 lakh so which number is going to be greater children so obviously 22 lakh is going to be greater okay so don't look at other numbers this was the first step by writing the units and after that you all have to see which is the greatest number from these two numbers okay so 22 is greater than 12 Got it? Now next, thirty-five is there, thirty-three is there, three hundred and two is there. Okay, you will see almost all the numbers are same. This is thirty-five lakhs. This is also thirty-five lakhs. Thirty-three thousand, thirty-two thousand. Okay, and three hundred and two. So which number is going to be greater? Obviously, thirty-three will be greater, isn't it? Thirty-two will be smaller. Same for this. First, you all have to see. How many units are there? This is nine lakh. Where is this? Is ninety nine thousand unit tens hundred thousand ten thousand. Okay, so this is ninety nine thousand unit tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakhs. Obviously, lakhs is going to be greater. Got it, children? So I have already explained you how to read the numbers, how to write the units in the previous exercises. Also, you all can check the exercises. If you all haven't watched it, the link will be provided in the description box. You all can check it over there also. Now let's move on to the next number. Four lakh. Four lakh is also over here. Eighty thousand over here. Ninety thousand has been given. So don't read about the next numbers directly. You all can write it that ninety thousand four lakh ninety thousand is greater than four lakh eighty thousand. Got it? It is very simple. And if you all are finding it difficult, you all can always write the units above the numbers in such a way. Okay. Now next is thirty-five thousand. Sorry, thirty-five lakh, thirty-five lakh. Both the numbers are having lakhs. Okay. Over here, eighty thousand, and over here, eighty-eight thousand has been given. So which number is going to be greater? Obviously, eighty-eight thousand is going to be greater. Obviously, these numbers are small. You all can calculate in your mind also. Okay, I hope this is clear and it's very easy. So not much to be explained in this section. If you all have followed my other exercises, this is going to be very easy for you all to understand. Now the next sum is a kind of problem sums they have given and we have to compare the numbers. Now Swayam Siddhi Saving Groups made this much papad, while Swabhimani Group made this much papad. Which group made more papad? So you all have to use the sign and show which group had made the most. Papad. Okay, so first we will write Swayam Siddhi. Swayam Siddhi group, and over here we will write Swabhimani group. Okay, now we will write the numbers that they are having: three lakh forty-five thousand. Okay, so I hope this is readable. Now, two lakh ninety-five thousand. Okay, so which is going to be greater, three or two? Obviously, three. So you all have to show this sign. And which group made more papad? Swabhimani. Sorry, Swayam Siddhi. Swayam Siddhi group made more. Papads, isn't it easy? In this way, you all have to solve the problem sum. Children of the primary school in Ahmednagar district collected this much seeds. Okay, so first Ahmednagar we will write Ahmednagar district 
ओके हाउ मेनी सीड्स टू लैक सीड्स ओके ना विच दीज Which those in Pune district collected in this much? Okay, so Pune district, Pune will come over here. Pune district. You all have to show it in this way only. Children collected how many seats? Three lakh twenty five thousand. Okay, so over here two lakh and over here three lakh. So which group made this group made? Okay, so Pune district. Now the, they have asked which children collected more seats? Children from Pune district, isn't it? children from pune district collected more seats got it children now next is the number of people who took part in the republic flag hoisting ceremony was this much okay in pandarpur so we will write first pandarpur or you all can read the full question and then write it it's okay no problem but i prefer writing the question directly after reading it okay so after i read it i write whatever is been given so pandarpur how much people uh, participated 2 lakh 100 and 1306 uh, Two lakh one thousand three hundred and six people participated in the flag hoisting. Next is and this much people in Malshir Ras. Okay, so Malshir Ras, both are talukas. Okay, children, so don't worry. You all have to only write the names and show the numbers. So it is going to be one lakh ninety-seven thousand two hundred and eight. So over here two lakh was there. Over here one lakh is there. So which number is going to be greater? Obviously Pandarpur. So therefore, which taluka did the largest number of people participated? Pandarpur taluka more people participated. Is it clear, children? It's very easy if you all do it in this pattern. At an exhibition, the Annapurna Saving Group sold these many goods. Okay, so Annapurna sold how much goods worth rupees this much. So first we will write for Annapurna. This is going to be the solution. So I will write Annapurna. As I said, I prefer writing it along with the as I read the question. Annapurna Group sold how much goods for rupees five lakh. Twelve thousand three hundred and forty-five. Okay. Next is the Nirman Group sold this much goods. Okay, what rupees this much? So I will write it over here again. Nirman Group. Or you all can write just below it. Sold how much goods? What rupees? Four lakh twelve thousand nine hundred. Okay, so you will see Annapurna is doing more than Nirman Group. Now, next figure they have given this was for Nirman Group. Okay, so this is a big question. That is why I am writing it simultaneously as I am reading it. This figure was this much for which group? Surjan Group. Okay, now there are four groups, children. So Surjan Group. How much goods they sold for rupees four lakh? Thirty-three thousand. Okay, one more group is there, and this much rupees of goods, Savitri Bai Phule. So, four groups. Write it down so that it becomes easy to Savitri Bai Phule group. Write it down so it becomes easy for you all to analyze it. So, how much goods they sold for rupees five lakh. Eleven thousand nine hundred and thirty-seven. Okay, now what we have been asked: which group had sold the largest sales? Okay, so compare this. This is four four, but over here thirty-three thousand is there, and over here twelve thousand is there. Okay, so these two are going to go only Annapurna and Savitri Bai Phule. We have to compare because both are having five lakh five lakh. Okay, twelve thousand eleven thousand. So which is the highest sale? 
this is going to be the highest sale of Annapurna group. So over here only I am writing the answer. Which group had the largest sale? Annapurna group had or just Annapurna group also you all can write it. No problem or you all can complete the sentence Annapurna group had the largest sale. Okay now which group had the smallest sale? Which one is the smallest? Now, obviously, these two are the smallest one, isn't it? From their 4 lakh, 4 lakh, 33, 12. So, which is the smallest one? 12 is the smallest one. So, you all can write over here. Nirman group is the smallest selling group. Okay. So, both your answers are from the question that we have written. Okay. Now, one more question they have asked. Write the sale figures in ascending orders. Okay, now ascending orders means from bigger to small. Okay, so ascending order I will write it over here. Ascending order means bigger to smaller. So which one is the bigger? Annapurna is the bigger one, isn't it? So rupees 5,12,345. Okay, this will come first. After this, this amount is going to come because this is 5,11,000. So, 5,11,937. Okay, after that, which unit is going to come? This, because this is the smallest, isn't it? We have already written. So, this amount you all have to write. That is rupees 4,33,000. Okay, and then at the last, you all have to write 4,12,900. Got it, children? I hope this exercise is clear to everyone. While solving, if you all find anything difficult, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you all and answer your queries. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.